Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about an issue that one of the guys I have, uh, I'm training him one-on-one, -on -one, he's really been struggling with. And I think many of you guys might struggle with it as well. And so that's why I want to share these uh, quick tips with you today. The issue is active dorsiflexion in the squat and deadlift. So the first question is, what do I mean by active dorsiflexion? I'm talking about your ability to push your knees over your toes while maintaining a solid root position with your feet and maintain, maintaining tension in the quadriceps. So, very simple test to see whether you have a sufficient amount of active dorsiflexion. You're gonna sink down into a full body weight squat and you're gonna put all of your weight back on your heels so that you're almost falling forward or falling backwards rather. Then you're gonna shift your weight forward so that you're in a solid rooted position with your feet. Your weight is evenly balanced over your feet and you've got those good tensile uh, feedback through your big toe, little toe, and heel. From this position, you're gonna push your knees forward as hard as you can while maintaining that solid rooted position. As soon as you notice that your center of gravity is drifting forward, that's too much, okay? You have to be able to maintain that rooted position perfectly with your knees pushed forward as much as you can. If you notice that as soon as you start to push your knees forward, that you're losing that position, especially the contact of the heel on the ground, and then you're lacking in active dorsiflexion. The answer to this, in my opinion, is not to just throw on squat shoes. That's more of a band-aid. What you need to do is improve your mobility, and you need to strengthen the musculature that's going to support the foot. So that's going to mean calf stretching, which is very straightforward. I think you can look up pretty much anything online and find a good calf stretch but you also need to be thinking about training your tibialis. Your tibialis is the muscle that runs down your shin, and it's actually very important active dorsiflexion because if that muscle is tight or weak, you're gonna find it actually much harder, it sounds a little bit weird, you're gonna find it much harder to maintain that good rooted position while you're pushing your knees forward, okay? So most people aren't gonna have the equipment necessarily to train the tibialis with the regular uh, weights, so what I suggest you do Go over to a standing calf raise machine. We'll pretend this is a machine. You're gonna do your calf raise, stand up, right? Flex the calf. As you lower yourself, you're gonna take a full five seconds, curl your toes up off the, off the foot pad, and slowly lower yourself down while maintaining tension in your shins and really feeling that stretch in your calf. Drive back up and repeat and do that for multiple sets of, let's say 10 to 12 reps is probably a good range. After that, repeat the test and notice how much easier it is to maintain that rooted position as you push your knees forward. This is what you want to think about when you're squatting. But the caveat is you're not necessarily going to push your knees forward that much. The idea is that you're building up that strength and mobility unweighted so that then when you are under the bar, you're able to demonstrate, even if you don't have to go through a full range of motion, Right with that dorsiflexion, you're still able to demonstrate control under the heavy weight and stay in a good movement pattern. 